Hey everyone, welcome to Rhino Wizard. In this Rhino tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make these cool parametric looking 3D screens that create a kind of optical illusion effect. Uh, these are great for putting over glazing or just to add some interest to your building facade. Let's jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and get a new Rhino file, large objects feet will work. Jump into the top view here by double clicking on it and grab a polyline tool, make a diamond shape. Mine is four feet wide and two feet long. And then we're gonna go ahead and type the command fillet. Um, we're gonna use a radius of 0.2 on this fillet. And we're gonna go ahead and click on these sharp points. Press enter to restart the same command again without having to type it. And then we're going to start the command again, type 0.4 for these wider ones. Great, so now we have a nice rounded diamond shape. Let's go ahead and array this. The number in the x direction is going to be 20. The number in the y direction is going to be 1. The number in the z direction is going to be 1. We're going to drag it over from this midpoint to... That looks good. Once you have the, these pink shapes, go ahead and press enter to accept. And we have this new geometry. To create the second row, we're gonna go ahead and grab the polyline tool again. Drag a line from this mid to this mid, press enter. And then we're gonna select all this geometry. And we're gonna type copy. And we're gonna copy it from this bottom point to this midpoint. Now we can delete this line. Select all of this, zoom in, and drag it down. Now select all of this, type array, and we're going to do one in the x direction, 20 in the y direction, one in the z direction, and drag it up from this bottom point to here to create a nice even mesh. Uh, it looks like that's not quite even. Sometimes this can happen. So to fix this, we're going to make a line here, make a line here. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I can't think of it right now. Make a line from mid to mid, and then mirror this over. Now we've got our distance here. So we can go ahead and array all of these. To deselect something, you hold control while you select it. So if you want to select it, hold shift. If you want to deselect it, hold control. And now we're going to array these. Uh, 20 in one in the uh, x direction, 20 in the y direction, one in the z direction. And we're going to drag it from here to here. Now we've got the same even spacing between these meshes. We know everything is perfectly even and beautiful. Now we're going to select all of this geometry, switch over to the perspective view, and zoom in a little bit. Uh, I feel like making a skewed screen, so we're going to zoom in a lot here and sort of find a nice view where everything looks a little aesthetically pleasing, and then type in make 2D. That'll create a new flat geometry from your view plane. So our geometry looks like this at the moment. Let's go ahead and scale 1D. Hold down shift, click, hold down shift, click. And scale that out. So we've got a nice big plane to work with here. All right, now let's create a rectangle. Hold down shift to drag it along the orthogonals. And here's a little trick. If you ever want to align something to a point, you can just hover over that point until it turns white and you can drag along the rail and it'll make a nice rectangle. So now we're going to scale this a little bit that way and move it up into this field. Um, I'm not sure I like the rotation of these at the moment, so we can Select everything, hold control, 
deselect the rectangle and rotate them over like that maybe. And we'll find a nice composition here that works for me. This will probably de depend on your building. That looks nice. So now we select our rectangle and only the rectangle. Type split and select these objects, the splitting objects. Anything that overlaps the rectangle is fine. And press enter. Now we can go ahead and switch over to shaded mode. And as you can see, we've cut out the mesh into our rectangle. Turn that over. Now we don't need any of this, so we can delete it all. All right, move that over here. If you ever lose something in your viewport, you can type yes to center on it, and then I'll center it perfectly. And now what we're gonna do is extrude this. Extrude SRF. Um, let's do 0.3 for our distance to add a little thickness to it. And now we can go ahead and delete this surface. Where's this surface? There we go, delete that. We don't need it anymore. So now we have this nice mesh screen. Now to create this interesting effect that I showed earlier, we're going to go ahead and hold down Alt and drag it over to create a copy. That'll be one on top of the other. And we're just going to scale this up by... Press Enter to automatically set your base point. And let's scale it up by 1.05. Now that's already starting to create that effect that we were looking for earlier. Um, we can even scale it up a little more. Scale it up by another one point. Uh, 1.05. There we go. Great. So now we've got that cool effect. Now to apply some materials to it, we're gonna switch over to our ray traced mode. And real quick, let's set up our sun. I wanna click the, go to the render tab, click sun. Turn the skylight down to 0.3, should be fine. Uh, open the sun panel, click manual control, move that around, give it a little bit of angle to it. That looks okay. And let's add some materials. So let's go ahead and add a material from the Tumin material library. Uh, metal. Let's get a matte copper. Go ahead and apply that to the, select our back screen and right click on our material and hit assign to objects. And then for our front material, we can just put a default metal, assign to objects. Go ahead and make it a little rougher. And I'm not sure I like the color of this copper. Let's change it. You can fiddle with these settings as you wish. And move that in. Great. So we've got that screen effect that we were looking for. Thank you for watching, and I hope if this tutorial was helpful, you'll subscribe because I'll be posting more soon on all sorts of different stuff that's architecture and Rhino related.